This video is about Tony Visconti. He's best known for producing most of David Bowie's music, but over the years he has produced a huge amount of records for a wide range of artists, including many big names. He has also contributed to many playing, singing and arranging. He was born on 24th of April 1944 in Brooklyn, New York City, New York, USA. He started to play ukulele when he was five years old and then learned how to play guitar. In his teenage years, he played in a classical brass band playing a tuba, a traditional orchestra playing double bass, and also rock and roll oriented guitar. By the age of 15, he focused his efforts on playing in local Brooklyn bands. After leaving school, he played guitar in a band called Ricardo and the Latineers. In 1960, he played his first recording session and over the next few years became one of the leading guitarists in New York nightclubs. He became in-house producer for his publisher, the Richmond Organization. Through this, he met British producer Danny Cordell, who asked him to assist in recording for successful jazz vocalist Georgie Fame, and he moved to London, where he ended up doing most of his work. In 1967, he produced Bidou's Daughter of Love, Billy Fury's Suzanne in the Mirror, and Subway Smoky Pokey Ward for the Tickle. One of his first production projects in England was with the British band Tyrannosaurus Rex, who later became T-Rex on their debut album My People Were Fair and Had Sky in Their Hair, but now they're content to wear stars on their brows, in 1968. This began a relationship with T-Rex that would last for their next eight albums and 11 UK top 10 singles in a row, commencing with Rider White Swan in 1970. One of his greatest successes was their album Electric Worry in 1971 that made T-Rex frontman Mark Bolan a superstar and cemented his producing prowess. Also in 1968 he produced Jabberwock and which dreamed it for Boeing Duveen and the Beautiful Soup. For the Welsh group the Ivies who later became Badfinger producing the single Maybe Tomorrow and several tracks for their first LP, Maybe Tomorrow, in 1969, and Bandfinger's album, Magic Christian Music, in 1970, released on the Beatles' Apple label. Richard Henry's Oh Girl, the Moves album Move, as arranger and produced the song Something, which was the B-side of that Blackberry Way single, and Junior's Eyes song, Mr. Golden Trumpet Player, and Woman in Love. White Lights Part Two. King of the Rumbling Spires, Star Child, and the album Battersea Power Station in 1969. Junior's Eyes were David Bowie's backing band on early recordings, including the song Space Oddity. More early production work included David Bowie's second album in 1969. In 1971, he started working with Mary Hopkin, producing her album Earth Song, Ocean Song, and they got married that year. They were husband and wife for 10 years and had two children. Mary contributed to quite a lot of records he produced. Later he produced several other songs and albums for her, with the last album being Now and Then in 2009. He produced the first two albums by an influential progressive rock band Gentle Giant. Shortly afterwards, he began to work again with David Bowie and along with guitarist Mick Ronson and drummer John Cambridge, formed and toured with the band The Hype, in which he played bass. Although band name would be very short-lived, most of the lineup persisted, and with Woody Woodmansey replacing Cambridge, would go on to record Bowie's album and single The Man Who Sold the World in 1970. He later produced Bowie's albums Diamond Dogs in 1974, Young Americans in 1975, Low in 1977, Heroes in 1977, Lodger in 1979, Scary Monsters and Super Creeps in 1980, Heathen in 2002, Reality in 2003, The Next Day in 2013, and Bowie's last album Black Star in 2016. Also in 1971, 
He produced Osibisa's albums Osibisa and Wayaya. He scored orchestra arrangements for Paul McCartney and Wings' 1973 album Band on the Run and also worked as an engineer on that album. In 1977, he started working with Thin Lizzy, producing their album Bad Reputation and other records from them to the 1983 album Life Live. In 1979, he produced Rick Wakeman's album Rhapsodies and the single Animal Showdown. In 1983, he produced the Altered Images album Bite. In 1985, he produced U2's song A Sort of Homecoming. He later produced two albums for the Moody Blues, The Other Side of Life in 1986 and Sir La Mer in 1988, several tracks on their Keys of the Kingdom album in 1991. In 1994, he produced Annie Haslam's album Annie Haslam, later the album the Dawn of Ananda in 2000. In 1997, Visconti produced the debut album for the Stone Roses member John Squire's new band, The Seahorses, entitled Do It Yourself. In 1999, he produced Luscious Jackson's album Electric Honey and the album Leisure Noise for Gay Dad. In 2000, he produced the album Soul Caddy for Cherry Pop and Daddies. He produced and played bass on a handful of tracks from the Dandy Warhol's 2003 albums Welcome to the Monkey House. In 2003, he teamed up with the Finn brothers Neil and Tim, who were members of the New Zealand band Split Ends and later Tim formed Crowded House to record and produce their second collaborative album, eventually released in 2004. In 2004, he produced three songs on the Manic Street Preachers album Lifeblood. In 2005, he collaborated with Copenhagen band Kashmir, whose fifth album, No Balance Palace, featured David Bowie. He has also collaborated as co-writer and producer on the album Project by Richard Barone. He worked in Rome and produced the number one UK album by Morrissey, ringleader of the Tormentors. In 2007-2008, he was very active in the studio with Benin singer Anjali Kijo, producing her Grammy-winning album Jin Jin. Guest artists including Alicia Keys, Peter Gabriel, Josh Stone, Josh Groban and Carlos Santana. He has also produced two albums at St. Clair Recording Studio in Lexington, Kentucky, The Bright Lights of America by Pittsburgh punk band Anti-Flag and an album by Alejandro Escovedo called Real Animal, released in June 2008. He produced the album Je sais que la terre est plate by French artist Raphael, which topped the charts in France. He produced and mixed the Christine Young album Music for Strippers, Hookers and the Odd on Looker, released in 2009, and arranged Fall Out Boy album Folly Adieu. In 2010, he produced Richard Barone's album Glow, which includes five songs co-written with Barone and a remake of T-Rex's Girl. He also played bass, guitar, synth and stylophone on the album and performed live in concert with Barone on numerous occasions. In 2013, he produced Solar Secrets by Capsula. 2014, he produced and arranged several tracks on Mark Almond's album, The Dancing Marquee. Almond had wanted to work with him since hearing some of his earlier production work with T-Rex and David Bowie, stating it was a dream to work with Tony. In 2018, he produced Evil Spirits for The Damned, their first album in 10 years. He also produced the Maryland album by The Good, The Bad and The Queen in 2018. In 2019, he produced the song The Dragon Cries with the bandmate vocalist Miku Kobato and Saiki Atsumi. The track was released on bandmate 2019 release Conqueror. He received Grammy Awards for his work on the Anjali Kijo album Jinjin Jin in 2008 and David Bowie's last album Black Star in 2017.